Good day and welcome back. So today we're going to start, um, now that we've covered how to use NG full stack, we're going to now look at creating our to-do web application. And this one is going to be using the Bootstrap UI and um, CSS library. Then we can create one using Angular material. But that one should go much faster since we're just going to be repeating the same thing except changing our UI look. We want to create in this first section um, for chapter 10. We want to create our application, of course. And by default, NG full stack give you a default endpoint for to do and models and so on for to do to get you started. But what I like would like to call, even though our application is called to do, I'm going to call the object and model we're going to create, I'm going to call it a task. So we're going to be managing task, a list of tasks, and tasks can have comments, or later on we'll see if we're going to add comments or it can be shared and so on. We'll see. I'm definitely going to be owned by different users. So I'm going to create a since we're going to have a task uh, model, I'm going to start with a back end and just create an endpoint for a task, test it in this video, make sure that works. And in the next video, we'll create a module. Uh, well, actually, we'll create a module here, not today too, but um, we're not going to really work on the module, which is the front end part for our, our task. But we'll see. It's going to be a longish video, so let's just get started. But what I should have done while I was doing that was actually come over here and show you how I have a new data directory, and this is in um, my chapter for the Bootstrap web application. I have a data directory which is empty, and I have a to do app directory that's also empty. Okay, and I'm going to change to a to do app directory, and I'm going to run yo ng full stack. And so I'm just going to kick that off and get that going. I should have done it with the name of the application, and we call it to do here. All right. Uh, let's leave, just do to do and then username let's do x i l i a x and then full stack yes we want back end and front end starter we use node angular um, one and node and then yeah let's make it secure and no we're not going to do that and let's run that and so it's just start populating our code over here so that's good and like we said um, for this we know it's going to create a default application using this to do as um, you know a feature and then the controller and all this stuff is going to be called um, thing. Now one of the things you can do is just go wrong and rename all of this to task or the other thing we can do is simply and then API here to do or we can simply create um, a new um, module called task and also a new um, API uh, endpoint called task in uh, task directory that's you know consistent with um, what we want to do. So we can go either way and then just delete um, these. So maybe let's do that because not every application you're going to create is going to be um, you know going to be to do you're going to take it and massage it um, you might not even have a to do. So let's do that. We're going to delete to do's um, from these two directory and just go with um, task. But before we go ahead and start deleting stuff, we're going to kind of leave um, this around. So we're going to come back here and we'll change these to to do. And on the back end side, as we know that in the um, server here, we'll have to import our whatever our new route is. But let's just let's see. All right, so this might be a very long video. Um, I should have run this before, so this can start um, doing this stuff before I started recording, and um, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Uh, but let's see. All right, so it looks like it's finished back there. And one of the things we want to do is make sure that everything is running correctly. So uh, let's do this. Let's do git. Um, not git. I want to add git. Um, so I want to do um, npm run dev. And so let's see if this is going to run correctly. And so here, as my as we expect that error. And yep, bam, it says it's running correctly. Well, um, actually, this should not be running correctly because, as you can see, there's no MongoDB running in the background. So it couldn't connect to MongoDB. And so if I try to add something and I click Add, it should fail. Okay. So, um, let me open up another tab and go back up a directory 
and I'm going to do export and bam. And so if you remember, I showed you that the data directory is empty. So I'm going to do uh, Mongo D minus DB path and data. Okay. So I'm going to run MongoDB in that directory. And so now that's running and it's listening, waiting for connection. And so um, I'm going to close this one and I'm going to start this over again. So, oh, that's not what I wanted to start over. Uh, so let me run the MongoDB again. I'm going to start over our application. That's what I wanted to do. So let's run this. And so this should be running. Bam. And um, it should be connected now. And let's just verify that. I try to do this and add it and it's added it to the back end and so I can delete it. So that's all connected now and I can close this off. So that's working. So the next thing um, I want to do is let me get a terminal here to work with and I'm instructing my pump again. Um, so next thing I want to do is to be able to create a module and I'm gonna call it task. So I'm gonna go ng full stack colon module and I'm gonna call it task and minus feature and let's call it task also. And so that runs and it creates all these files for me. That's good. And then the other one I wanna do is with feature task and everything, I wanna do an endpoint. And so to endpoint, and so this is on the server side, and there it goes, and it created that for us. And so we can work from the front back or from the back to the front, it doesn't matter, but let's do back end, make sure our back end is working fine. So first thing first is here we have a module, it says something and it requires something, so that's easy. So let's do make this um, our task have it as a subject. All right, and let's leave the created at. So we can say created on instead and default now. And so this is fine. Uh, we can add some other fields, but for now, this is good to start with. And so um, let's see, the next thing is the DAO. And here we go. And so we include the DAO and it doesn't look like our DAO references any of our field. So that is nice and clean separation from our task, so that is good. Um, let's see, in terms of how Mongoose is naming things, um, I know the last time we changed it because we didn't like how it named things. So here we have task, and I think this should be capital task. So I'm going to make this capital task, capital task, capital task, and, okay. Uh, I don't think it's like this one. Okay, so all of the tasks, and so our schema here, and so this one too, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it, change this, and task schema. Okay, so that's probably more to my liking. Um, let's see what else you have to change. Um, our control and again it's calling this little case task um, and this is not a big deal but um, task here task there not a big deal but here um, no so we want to do a new task so when we do a new task that's when it matters so const task require task Oh, yeah, that's the problem. It should be task D A O. And this is definitely a bug ng full stack needs to fix. And so this will be task D A O. All right, so that should be fixed now. And final one is our route here. And so this should be task controller. If I like this, task task controller and so we do task controller now when we go to our routes here we of course have this but we want to change this to task routes 
and I'm going to even copy, go so far as to comment out this one because we don't need this. And this one is task, and it's in the feature directory called task. Okay, so that's consistent with what we have here task directory and routes. Task that routes. Um, let's see, rename this one task that routes. Okay task that wrote so that matches the file name and then here we do task wrote okay so this match matches this has the init and so now that is good so our backend should be fine now so the only way to see if that's actually working is to stop this and start it again and test it so if you remember I said that oh you can use this to test or you can install the standalone application, but either way, I had this from the previous time, so I'm gonna use it. So our port is 3000, and so let's do API in a comment now, but we're gonna use task. And let's make sure, okay, so I'm pretty sure our route here, when we set up our route, um, we use uh, task instead of task. So um, let's do that and stop this once again. Restart. Um, okay, let's check it now. Let's send this. And we get an empty string. So it's sent to the back end. No problem. That works. And in terms of posting, let's post a comment to our back end API task. And what did we say our task should contain? Um, subject. And so, there we go. Let's send it. And hmm, this doesn't work. Oh, that's because I have an extra comma here. And I send it. And this, what did we get back? 400. No, that did not say it was wrong. But let's see. Um, get that? So, yeah, that did not post successfully. So why didn't that work? Um, comment, third comment, uh, there's actually a comment. So why? Oh, so JSON, make sure that's right. URL encoding, post, header. Ah, um, forgot the header. So content type, yep. Content type application JSON. Yep, that's there. Okay, so now let's do that post again send and I got 200 again so what is the return so 400 bad request bad syntax when am I getting bad syntax mm -hmm. can it be fulfilled because of bad syntax let me review so JSON document subject comment and the only thing we expect on our backend for our task model is subject type string that's required. And this other field, we didn't say it was required. So that should work fine. And let's see controller. So we're looking at our controller here. And so we do a create and request underscore task. Let's see. So create task, pass that in to our GAO, and our GAO takes that as create, and where's that? Create new task here, and says new promise, blah, 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 return. So, oh, there we go. This is supposed to be task, okay, task. <clears throat> so, that's the problem. So, got to remember these little things. There's some errors in the code that's generated by ng full stack and just have to make sure that we go around and fix those little things. And so let me try this post again. So I'm going to send this and notice now it works correctly because I fixed the one problem here with this arm thing. And this is a something. I'm going to call this underscore T because I don't like the underscore something. And so there we go. All right. So next time I save. So now it looks like we're saving. Let's see if we can get. And so we do a get and it works perfectly fine, created on. So, so that's looking good.
So our back end is certainly working. Accomplish yeah. our task of creating our endpoint for task. <laughs> no, no pun intended. And so now we're going to end here. And so there's a nice size video, 15 minutes to under 20 minutes. And then in the next video, what we're going to do is going to switch to working on the front end and making sure now that uh, we can actually create a task from our UI, push to our back end and whatnot, whatnot. Whatever the task, the section is, the work for the next section, we'll do that when we get there. To wrap up, please try. Let me know if you have problems. I hope you enjoyed the material so far. We're pretty much to the end. We've just tied up everything we've done. We're just reusing it. So there's nothing really new except just putting it into practice. That's what we're doing now. And thank you for subscribing. Thank you for spreading the word. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And when you finish with this web programming series, I hope you would join me for you know, Go Language. I'm planning to do a course on Udemy, more information about that as I get the course planned out, but some of it is going to be some of this material, some other new material, but I'll let you know and see if you're interested in that also. But take care, have a great day, and feedback is welcome, positive and both negative. So thank you. Constructive feedback just makes this better for all of us. Take care and have a great day, and thanks for your time. Bye.